Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we get into this video of new stuff, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up as well subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit that notifications bell so you can know when I make videos, which I'm trying to do a lot more often. Today, I just, I'm looking a little busted. This is my work hair. Um, it is like 9 to 10 to 12. I don't know what time it is right now, but it's late. My phone's over there and I do not want to go check it. But today, we're going to go ahead and kind of dive into like a little bit of an unboxing and just new products that I've received that I haven't even shown you guys. I haven't even posted a lot of stuff online, which I'm lazy to do because I don't feel like posting it and I'm not going to really swatch anything or, or go into real detail of everything just because a lot of these products have already been shown to the world. I'm going to start off with some really random stuff. been currently trying to do a little bit more photography again and I've had this for quite a bit. This is the Young Nuo 50mm 1.8 lens. It's only $50 off Amazon and if you have Amazon Prime it is pretty bomb. So this comparable to the Canon 50mm 1.8 is pretty good. Definitely doesn't autofocus as fast and um, sometimes they come out a little bit blurry but the bokeh on this is still pretty pretty gnarly. But honestly, this was a really cheap buy, really awesome, and I really like it. I definitely want to try more Young Nuo products. If you guys do want to see some of my photography work, go ahead and follow my Instagram for photography. It's Love J Cakes, again, but with two S's. So if you're really looking for a cheap lens to buy that's like a 50mm 1.8, check this out. Try it out. It's pretty awesome. I did have a Canon 1.8 before another 50 millimeter but it got lost by somebody so whatever but i don't know if i'm going to be repurchasing that lens because of this but i definitely want to try more of young new um products so sorry that was really random but i really like that and i haven't used it for product shots yet but for my youtube i'm going to start using that to like do close-ups of videos just because the bokeh of it like with my backdrop that sequins looks so freaking tight Bella, this is Bella Lash. This is basically for lash extensions. If you guys already don't know, I've said this in a couple videos, I am a licensed esthetician. So I'm able to do waxing, facials, lash extensions, microblading, and whatnot. Um, and I started to do lash extensions again. So from Bella Lash, um, the first product I got was the gold adhesives <laughs> for this fucking thing for lash extensions. It was like 54 bucks and it was like 54 but you know what I need this for lashes um I just did one lash extension set so far with this so I don't know how she's feeling with it but that's one of the things that I got from there the next two things I got were some tweezers oh so this one right here is a standard crane and then I have these super straight um Ones. These were like seven or eight bucks. I don't remember really remember, but they had a buy one get one 50% off or one free. So I was like, okay, I need some new tools. So I have here is because I purchased some stuff, they sent me a under eye gel patch, which is lint free, reliable grip, anti wrinkle formula with collagen. So there's this, but I don't really use the eye patches anymore, but I'll keep that just in case I feel like using it for skincare. Or just eyelash. Um, refill trays right here basically i got these are just the you know premium synthetic mink lashes so i have 0.18s which are d mixes and these are the medium ones so it has 11 12 and 13 lashes in there because that's a really popular link um and i've never tried d so i wanted to try them out i do want to see more styles like C double cc's and like regular c's if you guys do lash extensions let me know what your favorite um like length is and what curl it is in the comments down below just so I can try them out and also tell me your favorite brand of lashes for classic lashes because I don't do volume just yet. I have D curls right here. These are also a mixed tray. This one was 8 to 15 and then right here I have the 2.25s in C's and this was just 8 to 15 as well. Another thing I have that I've just been sitting around is the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I do love. I do have the Jaclyn Hill original palette, ghetto ass eyeshadow palette. If you guys didn't ever see this, I decided to 
make my own DIY palette because a lot of people were okay. A lot of people were not supporting Z palette anymore because of the whole thing that happened. So basically, let's hope there's not a spider in this one. Okay. So basically, I made a whole DIY palette, and basically, this is all the shadows that were in there, but a lot of them broke, if you guys can see that button. I hope she's okay. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are breaking, so I think I might just have to end up buying, repurchasing all those palettes that I depotted, um, just because, why not? Getting into this... Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, I'm kind of excited just because I remember I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get it just because, you know, I don't know. But this is really cute. It has Jaclyn Hill and then it says Morphe times Jaclyn Hill. Um, let's open this. The only, the only thing is that I wish what Morphe would do is put the names on the actual shadows just so you know because I don't think they do on the box and I threw the box away so these colors these colors are so so these colors are so pretty like I'm obsessed this color literally speaks out to me like so much but the only thing is that with this one it's like very cardboardy like I don't know, I don't like, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, it's it's nice and sleek, but it just feels kind of cheap, and I don't, I mean, I don't really care for that. But, I mean, still, like, it's like Jaclyn Hill. Like, Jaclyn. You can spend a little bit more money on packaging. I mean, it's whatever. It's cool that it's white, but I just feel like this is going to get so dirty already. Like, I already, like, got it dirty right here. Ooh, and it's pretty velvety, but, oh. You see this? Let's see. Oh. Okay, that wasn't as what I expected. I expected a little bit more pigment. For that first swatch. Okay, so the matte shade so far wasn't as great as I expected. Let me try a shimmer shade real quick. Let's try this one. So this one feels... Ooh, that one swatched really pretty. If these shimmer shades are shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna shit myself. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. I like that color. That can even be even used as like a highlight. Like, let's just put it on there. Right, let's do that. Um, but wow, like, ugh. let me try another new like another matte shade just to see how it is. Um, let me go in with this color right here. I know, guys. If you're looking at my nails, I need a, tr a f I need a friggin' fill. So that's how it is on the hand. Let's see. The swatch is okay. It's kind of, it's not as like, it feels buttery, but not that buttery. And those swatches weren't as what I expected. Maybe I have to play around with it more. Maybe um, I might even just make a swatch video just for this, just to see how they really work. And I'll do it with both my hands and a brush. Just like Stephanie Nicole, she inspired me to do stuff like that because she's awesome. The next thing I have for you guys to show you guys is from Dose of Colors. I literally bought so much from them. I spent about three to four hundred dollars on Dose of Colors within the last month or so because they came out with two with two collections, which was the Meant to Be collection and the Desi and Katie collection, which I was kind of like, why would you? Okay, I love you, Dose, but why would you, why would you do this to me? Why would you do two collections within a couple months of each other? Like bitch like i'm trying to save money here okay fuck but i'm super excited i was so happy to get the both all of the full collections this thing was this really cute mint bag which says mint for you can't really see it right now but it says mint for you collection i'm probably not going to even use this bag for anything right now it's just display on it's just a display on my wall with a holga camera it's like this color too so that's all i have it as oops ideal duos so these are from the mint collection um and the first color i have right here is magic moment and then i have mint to be and honestly this one is to die for like uh so basically what's inside is the top part is oh, fuck if i can open it the top part is a primer and then the bottom part is the pigment and so we're gonna go ahead and do this primer right here. Ooh. 
This is so pretty. This is like a rose gold color. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch that. Oh, that's freaking beautiful by itself, honestly. Like, wow. I wonder how it's going to look with the pigment. Wow, that's like really pretty like rose gold color if you guys can see that. Sprinkle that on top. Just going to put it on top right here real quick. about that like so far what I'm looking at it right now if you guys can see um the pigment of it looks to be very very thick and kind of makes it look like like it's like really thick glitter but I mean it's really really pretty still really gives it you know dimension I don't know I don't know how I feel about it I mean it's really late at night and I gotta I would have to try it with you know a brush and everything but as I'm swatching it, that's what it seems like. You guys can see that. It's hard when you have nails. You can't get into anything. Oh, that was really not like no product. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Let's go ahead and just let's swatch it right here. Okay, maybe I need more product because I'm not getting too much product on my hand. Let's see if I can use this freaking bad boy. Okay. So, that's what I'm getting. It doesn't look as, like, I don't know. It's really opaque. It's not as opaque as I would expect this to be. I mean, I guess because it's a primer, it's, maybe it's not as opaque. But the other one was pretty, was really beautiful. This one right here looks like you can see my skin through it a lot. I was really intrigued by these when she did it. And that's what I'm getting. I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, it's okay. Like, it looks, when she did it on, like, on her video, it looks so much more better than it, how it is right now. Maybe I need to, like, add more primer to it. Because I'm pretty sure she did the primer and then the product. What if I did? That looks pretty okay so far. I think I would just have to actually put it on my eyes and see how that works but just looking at it it looks pretty nice it's definitely not as like chunkier than this one right here because this one if you were to look closer it's like really chunky and it's like already coming off my hands when I swatch that like when I go over it primer right over here and then right here it's like chunky 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 are the blush like you mint it these are so cute i really love the packaging on this one so i have amazement and statement let's it's a really interesting texture like using my finger on i'm like ooh. right here ooh, that's really pretty this one might be too pale on my skin tone Right here I just feel like these like pale pinks just don't really look that cute on my skin but who knows but let's see how it blends out it blends really nice while I'm using my finger it's like effortlessly blending together this is what it looks like in the packaging basically these are little crayons that you can use to create a smoky eye um, or use it like as a base for a smoky eye or you know use it as like an eyeliner or like using your waterline so the first one right here is Compliment, which is the black. So here it is. You twist it up like this, um, which is nice because it's retractable. I always hate products that aren't retractable, like the ColourPop brow. Like you literally, when you twist it up, it literally stays like that. And I hate products like that. I like to retract it back. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so that first swatch wasn't as black, but once you go over it twice, a couple times, it's really nice and black. And it's really creamy actually too and so like this one you can really like blend out Ooh, kind of blend it out a little gray rather than black so this product uh, I don't know if I would want to use this as a base for my smoky eye just because when you want for me with smoky like black smoky eyes I like to have it as black as can be just so it doesn't do this and show my skin but it's still really pretty. I would still have to try it out. I'm not I'm not giving it a bad review yet because I have yet to use it. The next color I have is Hint of Mint. Again, the same color. It's the color of the tube. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's 
so beautiful. And I love how like creamy these feel. And I, I do like how like it blends out for this one. It's not, it's pretty opaque still compared to the black if you guys can see that. But it's still really, really pretty. A dose of colors liquid lipsticks. Um, I have Excitement, which is the pink color that's kind of like the blush. And I have Minty, which is kind of like the other blush. Is Minty. So I'm just going to swatch it right here real quick. Ooh, this is so pretty. So as I'm swatching it, this formula feels a little bit more watery than the liquid lipsticks that it comes with. Because right now, as I'm swatching it, it's coming out a little streaky. Because normally, these liquid lipsticks, for Dose of Colors, their um, formulas are known to be very more like smooth and velvety. See this one? Oh, it's... If you guys, you guys can't see it, but right here, it's separating a little bit, so maybe I need to, sh let me shake it real quick. No, it's still watery for that one. So I went and, sh like, did this one for it. So let's see. So yeah, you see this one right here, this product. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this, you can see that it's not as watery. So, yeah, see the consistency for these are two different consistencies. This one is a lot more velvety, while this one's a lot more wet and pretty. The colors are so pretty. I really do like the color of minty. It's definitely one of those colors that I, like, do you see it? Like, it kind of looks like the one I'm wearing, which is Exposed from Kylie Cosmetics. And it's so pretty. If you guys already don't know this already, Dose of Colors is literally like my go-to. So, let's get on to the Katie and Desi collection. I was really upset because I did pay for two days shipping and my pa one of my highlighters, which was Fuego, came, you know, cracked and stuff. So this is her. She is so sad right now. But I did call customer service and they did replace it for me. Thank you so much. You guys were amazing. And it was so fast coming to me. Um, so now this is just basically a display item. I cannot wait to try these on. Like this is going to look so pretty on my skin tone. Like I already know it. Like look at that. That's blinding, okay? We're going to just put it here even though I have some hairy arms right now. Wow. Fuego is fuego. Okay, fuego. What I have right here is mirame, mirame, mirame. I am not a Spanish speaker, so if I butcher that up, sorry. I know I look Mexican. I am Mexican, but that is not my first language or my second. And I grew up Filipino, okay? Let's get that straight. This is, uh, I believe, Desi's color, which is still so pretty. And I wonder how this will swatch on my skin tone. <gasps> That is to die for. Let's put it next to Fuego. Wow, that's really freaking pretty. I think I'm going to really like that. If I were to get darker, for sure I'm going to use that. But I feel like I'm going to do it anyways. Wow. Right over here. It's so, so cute. If you guys didn't know, these are made to be wet. And I just, I'm so excited. I don't have water on me, but I'm just going to swatch it without and it's still so freaking pigmented. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. These four colors right here are just to die for. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay guys. That swatch so effortlessly and this one was a little bit patchy but it's also because I put too much product on my hand. But you guys, these colors these colors are amazing and honestly, those are colors is really popping. Um I but these eyeshadows, these wow. Y'all see that? Y'all see that flicker? <laughs> but these are so f 
You guys, I'm really shook right now. It's over the top, which is a lip gloss, which has um, little gold stuff in it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Like, oh my god. It's just so damn pretty. Like, I'm, I'm obsessed with these colors right now. Um, but... Ooh, it has a really nice smell to it. So if you guys can see that, it's so pretty. Like, you can definitely wear this by itself and it'll still look really pretty. This has a little bit less than a normal liquid lipstick. If you even put it right next to each other, it's a lot, it's smaller. Hot Fire is so pretty. It's a really nice, like, orangey red. We'll swatch it right here. Oh, and again, this consistency is very velvety. And it's so pretty. And I just really love how, like, velvet this product is. And just it's just so comfortable wearing, considering when you have more of a liquidy, liquid foundation. I'm so... Foundation? Who am I kidding? What the fuck is wrong with me? If you have more of a liquidy, liquid lipstick, I feel like those are so much more drying than if they're, like, smooth and velvety like this. Like, from far... Dude, from far away, this is, like, bitch. I am here. It's Sauvage. Ooh, it's a really, really dark plum color. Wow. Bitch! One swatch, and that's one, that's one swatch? Fuck, dude. Wow. She's pretty. It's not so purple, too. It has, like, reddish, brownish undertones in there. I'm feeling it. Like, I need to wear this sometime soon. Fuck, oh, dude. Katie, Desi, just the colors. You guys did amazing, amazing with this collab. I'm obsessed. Um, the first color I have right here is more creamer, please. So this is a pretty, pretty nude, and it's like really brown toned. And it's so cute because it has their signatures right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. It's so pretty, I don't want to swatch it. Oh my god. so pretty and then I have no shade which is really it's a really pretty nude too but so I feel like it's a little bit more on the pinkier side than brown but it still has that little hints of brown oh so fucking amazing honestly like wow Pretty much it for those products that I've had sitting in my drawers and waiting for me to talk about it. Now, the newest thing I have is this big ass box from ColourPop that I made an order of, and I'm super, I'm super excited to share with you guys because these are products that are new, and that some of them are new, and then some of them aren't that I just never got my hands on so I'm super excited to share these with you guys. Let me go wash my hands real quick and clear this up because damn. She is thick. Like thick. Ugh. Make this my thumbnail. <laughs> okay so we're gonna open her up. Damn she's thick like for real like she's thick. I've never received a ColourPop box this huge. I have a total of 16 products in here. You can see there's all the products that I bought, all 16, hopefully. Let me just take a picture of this for Snap. So I decided to get all of the crystal priming and setting sprays. So let me get all of them. Here they are. This packaging is so cute. I definitely wanted to get all of them because of the packaging. And for, I'm going to be one of those people that I never really keep the packaging of stuff. But for these ones, I will because they're amazing and it's like has the crystals in it. And if you guys didn't know, I'm an Aquarius. I was born in February, so my birthstone is an amethyst. So I had to get these. Excuse me. Basically, anything that says amethyst, I pretty much try to get. Here's a little bit me of me being petty. My boyfriend's ex-girlfriend, she's also an Aquarius like me and my boyfriend. And our birthdays are literally 
a couple days within each other. Hers is the day before mine, and her middle name is Amethyst. I'm low-key jealous of that. That's, like, a freaking awesome middle name. Like, why couldn't my family, like, think of that? Honestly, I really wanted to use that as, like, a, a name for my child, but because it's her don't think I will now but I still like that color so maybe it'll be a middle name for somebody but I just love amethyst amethyst is so pretty amethyst crystal priming spray and I also got the crystal liquid highlighter um so it says contains real amethyst crystal honey cocates derived from honey to give you a more matte looking finish dragon fruit extract punica granatum and citrus arata Arantium Ducis, or oh, I could have just said orange fl flower extract. And it says a blend of sweet orange and pomegranate to give you a smoother and more flawless look. Shake me up gently, hold at arm length away from your beautiful face, and spray, spray, spray. Awesome. So let's go ahead and open up. If you guys have these and you like them or don't like them, let me know in the comments down below how you how you like them. Are, do you know if these are just going to be lim limited edition? Oh, it says, all right, here, when you open it up, it says amethyst. A cooling stone, a calming stone. It says, a calming stone that promotes sp spirituality, emotional, and physical balance and peace. Bitch, I need more of this because I ain't peaceful right now because of that bitch. I almost said her name. Ooh. I like that. It's in a glass bottle, and it's super cute. Like, wow, ColourPop really set the, the game with this one. I thought it would have been in, like, a plastic one. Like, most of the setting sprays. So, let's see how this smells. Ooh, it smells really pretty. Let me just spray. Ooh, that feels really, really nice. I feel peaceful already, bitches. <laughs> I'm stupid, sorry. Um... So far, oh, I didn't even shake it. Oops. It still feels really nice. I feel like you, can, you don't have to use this as a primer. You can use it as a setting spray as well because why not? This one I have right here is rose quartz. Um, so it contains real rose quartz apple extract for intense hydration, grapefruit extract, olive oil derivative for a dewy finish. Ooh. And then it says, Rose Quartz, the, the stone of the heart, will attract love, keep love, and help mend a broken heart. Well, I need this because I'm in a relationship and I really want to kill him sometimes. So. <laughs> shake it up. Shake, 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 shake it up. How, like, strong the pump is. Like, this is a really nice pump compared to a lot of other ones. I can't smell anything right now, but... Wow. That smells that smells really good. I really like this one. Wow. And this one is a primer spray. But again, you can use this as both a primer or a setting spray. It does the same properties, I would think. Evan Terrine, I should I really want to get into like minerals and crystals and stuff like that because it's very, very interesting and yeah. So this has real Avaterine. Cucumber water, lemon extract, honey derived from, it has derived from honey to give you more matte looking, so they, this is another setting spray obviously, but that's nice that it has cucumber water because that's very going to be very, very cooling too. So it says, aside from being a good luck stone, Aventurin also attracts good energy and happier life. Bitch, I need this too because I'm happy, but I want a happier life. Who doesn't? cucumber I can definitely the cucumber is very it's very subtle but very rich at the same time if that makes sense it's like you know that there's cucumber when you spray when you spritz this and then the last one I have right here of the setting sprays is this crystal setting spray in aquamarine has the crystals in it coconut water apple and extract for intense hydration olive oil for dewy finish and it also has a coralina officialness fish Officionalis extract, bitch. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying right now. Um, which is a natural red algae for an extra moisture boost. Ooh, red algae is really good. Um, yes. Let's see what it says on the inside. Translate to water of the sea and brings calmness and relaxation. 
I need this too because I need to calm it there sometimes. I need to relax. Not need to be a stalker sometimes, okay? You feel me? That was like directly in my eyes. I can't really s smell anything in this, but... How do I look, guys? Do I look good now? Like... Do I look matte, but do I look dewy? Like, ooh. So the next thing I have um, is the Crystal Liquid Highlighter in Amethyst. I'm not sure if I'm going to get all four of these ones just yet, or the lip balms. I don't, the lip balms don't really scream to me, but I might buy the Amethyst one just because it's Amethyst. Um, so this one's just a highlighter. Honestly, these ones, the swatches of this didn't really look that cute to me. Oh, but it comes in a glass jar, again. Just going to shake it up just in case. And it says, for a crystal infused glow, use one to two pumps and apply onto the face using your fingers or a brush. Mix me with your foundation or moisturizer for an all over radiant look. So this one, obviously, since it's amethyst, it's going to have like a purple tint to it. So, bitch, I don't have anywhere that's too clean. So let's see. So I can already see it. The reflex of that is purple. Ooh, but that's wow okay this is actually really really pretty so when i saw swatches of this it didn't look so that pretty like now that i've really like put it into the skin it looks really nice there is i would say a lot of glitter but that's okay um it's still really really pretty wow because when i saw swatches of it when it was like just like this they did it literally just like that I mean, just to show the color, it looks. It didn't really look as appealing, but when I when you really move it all around, it looks it looks flawless, and I like it. It kind of has like an iridescence look to it, like a mermaid. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I might buy all of them now. I think I'm gonna do this in a video and like try it out and see how that works, dude. Imagine if ColourPop comes out with foundation. I'm a low key be shook if they do. Like what? Um. So. I have so many things to like go through like are you fucking serious so I have one that says um this is the color don't know what the color is but if you guys can see this it is broken in the box uh, hoping I can get a replacement considering this is one of the products that is from the 5 million um, but I'll open it up for you guys still. This is part of the 5 million um, hits or something like that. I don't really remember. But if you guys can see that, it's pretty cracked. And this is a highlighter. And it's called High Five. And if you guys can see that, I guess it, it might have been pressed incorrectly. But if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that look at that oh so sad and it looks like it's a really pretty color it's super velvety oh and it's really pretty i mean i could probably still use it but still like i don't want to have to like be gentle with it you know what i mean look at that okay the only thing i don't like about this color though so far it has a lot of glitter in it and i'm not really a fan of too much glitter in my stuff so i'm gonna take one more picture for the snap of this so i'm kind of sad about that i was super excited for this but whatever i mean shit happens right other super shock cheek this is flexitarian i think this is a highlighter that kathleen lights or somebody was like you have to have this highlighter in your life and it's so so pretty like i'm just looking at it and it's blinding and i cannot like oh Honestly, ColourPop makes such awesome products. I only The only thing I wish is that these ones could be, you know, put into a whole palette rather than individually. But I know it's the type of product that it is. Like, look at this. That is so blinding compared to this highlighter right here, which isn't. Like, I'm obsessed with this. I've never really tried, like, it's so funny because I have these products and I never really try them on my actual eyes. I always just swatch them. Like, if you guys can see right there, the, the one that's really taller is all my ColourPop products. Um, but there's also 
right there, that little, um, little bin. There's some matte liquid lipsticks that I'm still swatching for a video. The shade Glazed. So this has different colors in it, which is super pretty. I really like this too. Let's see how she swatched. She swatches super, super buttery, buttery of course. And next to Flexitarian, ooh, maybe not there. Let me swatch it somewhere else. Let's do it right here. She's super pretty still. Ooh, I really like that one. It's, it's really subtle, but it's still kind of blinding. I wouldn't say as blinding as Flexitarian, but I like it. Next product I have right here is a Super Shock Shadow, and it is in the color Party of Five. This was a freebie. So if you guys didn't know, um, ColourPop was having a thing or sale. If you spend a certain amount of money, you get freebies for the $5 million. And I bought $70 or so, so I could get all five of the products for free. And this is a Super Shock Shadow in Party of Five, and is an ultra glitter. Purplish in the pot and let's see how this swatches of course again very very buttery Ooh, that is really <gasps> this is so pretty oh my god you, you know what this reminds me of so a bunch of place like it has like the it reminds me of kind of like the Miami way palette that little purplish color they have but that one is a little bit more green but this is a little bit more on the purple side and also kind of reminds me of the brownish purplish green color the pigment from MAC is 9 to 5 which is obviously another freebie and this is a ultra glossy lip and this looks very very glittery and of course they're all like purplish colors so let me see I'm gonna oh but this is wow honestly guys this is so pretty and it was it's pretty it's right here so this is really fucking opaque actually like for a gloss that's pretty opaque that i'm swatching on my arm what the fuck bruh this is i'm shook right now like for else um and then i have an ultra matte lip which says take five again another five million free product Ooh, this is a really pretty stunning color me likey let's put it right here <gasps> she is gorgeous still watery did it get on my nose fuck i hope it not still kind of watery like most of them but this feels so nice oh wow pressed powder and it says highlighter and bronzer on it and I got the color Private Party, which I'm sure it's not a highlighter. This is a bronzer, I think. Let's hope. So I have the single, which is somewhere up there, of another shade. And I forgot to get the pan size, but I ended up getting um, a compact of this. So it was a little bit more. So this is, why does it say highlighter on there? So that I know what color it is, which... I wish they put out here. But this is the color. It's a really gray toned contour shade rather than a bronzer, I feel like. So on here, so, well, actually it looks kind of warm on my finger. So let's see how this swatches. Oh, I can't even see that on that hand. So this might be too light for my skin tone because it blends in with my skin tone. But again, I, this is a product I probably have to use um, on my face to really see because my face is a little bit lighter but the packaging of it is kind of cute I like this it would have been so much more cuter if they didn't have the little stars on there I find that to be a little bit just a little bit tacky this is called fab five so it's an oh no, I forgot about this one that I got a lippy stick um, again it's purple for the limited edition um, and again this is fab five Ooh, this little plummy color. Oh my god. That color is so beautiful. And it just, it glided on there. Like, honestly, I keep sleeping on these. I need to buy more of these because these go on so nice. And even though it's not a liquid lipstick, it's probably not going to last as long. 
they these are so comfortable wearing and like just putting that on was just like a dream no filter concealers I was only able to get three shades because everything else was sold out and I tried to grab things that were closer to my color which probably isn't um, so the colors I got were golden 40 medium 30 and light 20 so those were the colors i was able to snag i still want to get all the other ones just to try them out and also just because i'm a hoarder of color pop so let's go ahead and take a look at these and see Ooh, that is not the fuck let's hope that these are my shade oh my god these are so light i like how i got 20 30 and 40 that's kind of cool that I got you know in a row rather than like oh 10 and like 40 and then like 65 or some shit I don't know they don't have a 65 um okay. okay you guys ready to see the colors that I have so these are the three shades I was able to snag Otherwise, there was more, but they were so much more lighter than this. This is the lightest shade. So I have 20, 30, and 40. So light 20, medium 30, and golden 40. Um, so these might be a really nice highlighting shade, but I still feel like this is really, really light. Yes, but hopefully we can get the other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on my arm real quick. So here's light 20. Ooh, that's actually a really pretty color. I like that. And it has um, yellow undertones, which isn't bad, which work with my skin tone. That actually, so this looks really like so much more lighter on in the bottle than when you actually swatch it. Wow. So the next color I have is medium 30. Oh wow, actually these might be a really good match for me. It just looks so much more lighter in the in the packaging. Then this one has, of course, it's a little bit dark, darker. Ooh, I kind of see them. They're starting to oxidize right now. So they're going off a little, little darker. And then here is Golden 40. Wow, these... So these are the shades right here. Um, as I'm looking at these, these are definitely starting to oxidize while I'm looking at them. Like, let's see. Yeah, these are... Oh, I... Yeah, they're starting to oxidize a bit. Whoa. Guys. So this was a really, really pretty color, the Golden 40. But this just oxidized to, like, orange. That's freaking ridiculous. If I were to put that under my eyes, I would look like a fucking clown. So I think for me, I think the light 20, honestly, would be my best one. Or the light, the medium 30. If you guys can see this, this really, really oxidized. Whoa. But I have yet, of course, I have yet to try them on my face and see how these work. Um, I'm pretty sure there's other reviews out there if you want to see those. But if you want to see me personally, my thoughts, and what I think about these, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. As well as subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Um, I'm sorry again that this video was so long. You guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And... I hope you guys are all staying safe considering all the tragedy all the tragedies that we are having right now in the world. It is really ridiculous. But I hope you guys are safe. I love you guys and please I hope I see you in my next video. Thank you guys again for tuning in and watching me. Bye.